This mouse really surprised me. I've tested quite a few budget Chinese gaming mice recently, and this one is by far my favorite. This is the VXE Dragonfly R1 SE, and this thing is only around $18 on AliExpress and around $30 on MetKeys if you prefer them. This has amazing specs for the price with a 3395 SE sensor, it's just a slightly cut down version of the regular 3395 sensor. But performance has been great, I have not had any spin out or tracking issues or even lift off issues with this sensor. This mouse has a 250 milliamp hour battery in it and it is supposed to get 35 hours of playtime on 1k hertz polling. The SE variant can go up to 2k polling if you buy their separate dongle, but I do not have that dongle with me here. This mouse has Huano blue shell pink dot switches in it and the implementation of these switches is great feeling. They are very snappy and very responsive. No pre-travel and only a tiny bit of post-travel if you click right at the end or the front of the switch. The side buttons also feel great. No problem reaching for them in game and they don't have any post or pre-travel either. Very snappy and very clicky. The scroll wheel also feels really good. It has defined steps and a really nice click to it. My shell on this unit has an ever so slight amount of creaking when I squeeze the sides pretty hard. But I can't get the side buttons to actuate when squeezing the sides and it won't really change anything in game. You don't feel or hear the creaking while you're playing with this mouse. The stock skates that came with it were not the best so I did switch them out for some obsidian donut skates and they honestly feel way better. The overall shape of this mouse is very nice and feels great in hand. It is actually very similar to the Razer Viper Mini with the sides being a little bit more flat than the Viper Mini is. It also has similar shape to the Beast X but the VXC has more of a back hump which actually feels better to me in my hand. Hand. This shape is almost an exact copy of the Dharma Shark M3 2K mouse and I, I honestly love that mouse. I still prefer the VXE than the Dharma Shark because it feels just slightly better and more reliable in hand. But they are very similar shapes and I also think that the clicks and side buttons on the VXE have better implementation than the Dharma Shark does and they have tighter tolerances here on the VXE. The VXE R1 just feels like a better, more refined and an improvement made over the Darmo Shark M3S. I honestly love this mouse and it will be in my rotation for a good while. My copy is only 48 grams and the fact that this mouse can be bought for less than 20 bucks is absolutely insane. The same company that made this mouse made the VGN Dragonfly F1 Pro line and that mouse is a banger for the price. But I think they have even one up themselves with this mouse. It feels more comfortable in my hand than the VGN and it actually has a better build quality on my unit. I I think claw grip works very well with this mouse and that's what I primarily use when playing with it. There's not much more for me to say other than if you are an ex on an extreme budget and you want something that performs amazingly well, this in my opinion is one of the best options out there. The unboxing experience for this mouse is nothing special and you don't get too much in the box, just the mouse and a cord and some paperwork, but I'm not complaining for a mouse that is only this much money. I'm not sure if I just got a goaded unit or not, but if all the units are like mine and are as good as this mouse is, I am thoroughly impressed with this little mouse. Thank you guys for watching this short review of this mouse. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you would like to see more content, please subscribe. Thanks again. And as always, have a wonderful day.